I just got a uh, package from Amazon. Feels like a book. Looks like a book. Oh, I hope there's a note in here from who sent this. Technician class. Amateur radio license preparation. Somebody is uh, thinking of me here. I want to get into ham. There's no ID in here. Well, whoever sent this, uh, give me a comment and let me know who you were. Thank you. I'm going to have to start studying now. Being off the grid, ham radio is part of the deal. Well, there's electronics in here and everything. This is good stuff. Actually, I have a feeling I'm going to learn a lot from this. Well, thank you very much. Time to start studying. Baby cat has a chipmunk. I'm more worried about her than for the chipmunk. Because I know she doesn't like to kill. When she was young, she found out that dead mice are no fun. I just hope the chipmunk doesn't hurt her. Because I know she won't hurt the chipmunk. I think they're actually friends. She's not very smart for a hunter at all. The chipmunk is actually right over here, and she's looking for it over here. Which is why she's not going to be very good at keeping mice out of my camper. She's totally excited. <laughs> I think it's teasing her. It could have run away. That's why I'm starting to think they're friends. It could so easily get away. I think she's having the best day of her life right now. Ever. And after all the days of lazing around and sleeping because of the heat, it's early morning yet, so it's not so hot. It's good for her to get some exercise. You remember that massive mound of trash that was here from my RV renovations? It's gone. The only thing here is something that's not mine, except for the water can. None of that's mine. As long as the guys who uh, did the demolition, they got to take that away. But all the garbage is gone. And we've been hauling stuff away with the truck, with the lawnmower. Got some vehicle maintenance going on here. Got some personal DOI junk going on here. We cleaned up behind the RV. All the garbage is gone. Got my professional mechanic friend, well, self proclaimed anyway. <laughs> working on the generator. I don't do anything about cars. <laughs> Hopefully we're gonna get this beast fired up today. That'd be nice. Seven thousand watt generator will definitely uh, run the air conditioning. So hopefully that'll work out. But anyway, there won't be much video today because I'm coordinating all these projects. So uh, all this garbage is gonna be out of here when we're done. Right now I'm just pulling out the transformer from the uh, microwaves. By the way, just to show you, I took off the cover of the microwave, and there's the transformer. Um, whatever you do, if you do this, do not touch these wires. You can get a killer zap from these things. That capacitor carries a lot of power still. Even with the plug disconnected, that's got a lot of serious power. If you open one of these, be careful. I used a rubber-handed pair of pliers and pulled the wires off with the pliers like that and pull them off this carefully once you get that disconnected the wires are still are pretty much dead but I'm still going to be careful working in here 
So just if you open these up, be careful. But when I get this out, that'll be a project for another day. I'll show you all the wire you can pull out of these for your Benini charger. We've got oil in the generator, and I'm going to push the start button here and see if it'll spin up. Is it spinning? Sounds like it. Watch, see if you can see any... any what's it doing? Well, there's no compression because the plugs are out. Hold your finger over the cylinder, see if you can feel it. Is it spinning? It's doing something, it's sucking a little. Is it? You feel it? Yeah. Alright. So, I mean, it's spinning. Well, we might get the generator running today, hopefully. Well, the starter wasn't engaging. Now listen to that sound. Whoa! Yep. That's good. Now it's spinning. feathers and everything. Now it's spinning. Now we're going to test for spark. We've got Chris down here. Don't turn it on, please. I'm not going to. I'm hanging out the window. <laughs> All right in there. Wait, tell me when you're holding the plug. Right <laughs> Now. Go ahead. Ready? Yep. Oh, wait a minute. No, 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 no. Come on, you pain in the butt. You're being recorded. <laughs> That's alright. I'm sure they've heard pain in the butt before. I've seen worse. Go for it. Let me see if we get spark. Do we have spark? I don't see any. No. No? No. No. Uh oh, let me try it again. Ready? Yep. Tiny, 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 tiny spot. Oh, did you see him? Yeah, I saw him. Okay, that's probably all it's needed. That's all we need, yeah. It'll be stronger inside. All right, I think we're going to run. You want to pop some gas in there and try it? Well, we never did get the generator running, but we did get this massive pile of garbage out of here. All I have is my painting gear right now and my solar panels. That's nice. And we get all that other junk pile away as well. And some of you will be happy to see. I still got some cleaning up to do here. It's just hot. We raised up the water, the rainwater system. Did some rigging up to make it work, but we got it up there. And it's going to pour into the large tank now. Tomorrow's supposed to rain again. Today was uh, mostly sunny. And it's going to rain tomorrow again, so I'm going to get it directly into the big tank. I have to put a screen up there and put a screen back over the little blue one. And then um, probably set up a, uh, a uh, solar water pump so that when this fills, it'll pour off into the, um, the blue and then off into the little container. Um, but anyway, it's a good start. Definitely a good start having this set up. So I have to cover this up again to keep the sun off it and keep the bugs out. Well, we're moving along. It's definitely getting there. That's a... Uh, I can put a third piece of metal up there. I actually eventually want to get four up here. But I need another one of these big totes before I actually try to start to get more rainwater. Because that'll fill up. This big tank will fill in a good rainstorm now. This is going to be good. I better say it now because I know people are going to ask why didn't the generator run? Couldn't get in a strong enough spark. Um, poured gas right into the cylinder and it didn't fire. Didn't even sputter. Didn't even try. Although I did find out the exhaust was full of uh, mouse nests. It was puffing out a bunch of junk each time. But it was blowing it out so I don't know. The engine was turning over. It had good compression. It was blowing a lot of junk out the exhaust. But uh, it wasn't sparking strong. You'd get one spark out of every 10, 20 revolutions. So maybe points condenser. I don't know. I'll have to figure it out later. But we tried everything today and just couldn't get it to fire at all. Would have been nice to have the air conditioning going though. We also got the old chicken coop disposed of. Now I have this whole big area in front of my place. I got these two cans. That holds my chicken feed. I have to figure out where I'm going to put them. Somewhere where it looks nicer, but... It's a different uh, view here now. I have a huge front yard. Somebody asked, where's my tool tent? Well, there it is. It hasn't moved. 
at this huge front yard here. It looks like a campground. I want to clean this all up, put out some plants and flowers. I know I'm getting a late start, but hey, uh, this year started out as survival mode, just trying to survive and exist. And now I'm finally making like home.